to create custom radio buttons. How we create the custom radio button is by using a shadow class element using the label tab. So here's how our markup will look like. We got div with a class of radio btn group. This div will wrap around the input and label element. First, create the input type radio. Add a unique ID and also add the name attribute with the option as a value. Next, add the label element immediately after the input. Add the break tag at the end. Copy and paste the format for additional options. Don't forget to change the ID and update the for attribute value corresponding to the input ID. Add a box sizing border box to all the elements on the page. Add a font. To the radio btn group class, I'm adding a margin, then a font size. Next, get the label selector. The selector just means we selected all the label that is placed immediately after input with a type of radio under the radio-btn-group class. This is important so our CSS could not get any conflict with other elements. We will need an absolute position pseudo element under the label tag. So set the label to relative position. Add a padding, line height. Now, we need to add a style to our pseudo class element. Add content without a value, absolute position, width of 40 pixels or 1 em, same as the height. I'm going to add a background so we can see how it is displayed tap 0 left 0 bottom 0 and margin auto Add a border. We can remove the background now. I'm going to add a checked attribute to the first input acting as the default selection. 
So we need to change the style of this brown pseudo element when the input value is clicked. Add a box shadow. Next, change the color when hovered over. Smooth out hovering by adding a transition. Next, change the pseudo element color on hover but not the same as the active or selected input element. Add a different box shadow values. And finally, you can hide the ratio input element. You can add a display none. CSS to the radio button inputs.